Hello and welcome to this video of the tutorial list about programming the ESP32 board in an easy way. Today we will uh, see how to use uh, the internal Bluetooth module of the ESP32 as a way of a communication instead of the Wi-Fi. We will create an Android app with the tool MIT App Inventor to control an LED connected to the board. It will be very easy and uh, it will take a few minutes. First. Let's open the tool to note for ESP32. This block will define a name for the ESP32. Here I will call it ESP32 Tuto. After that, I will show the address. Now I will upload the program. What you see here is my phone. I will try to make a scan of all the Bluetooth devices around. The board appears with the name that I defined. I will try to make the pairing. Now my device is paired. Now I will improve my program. I will add a delay in the beginning of the program so I will have the time to see the address. To handle the incoming data, you should use this if statement. The block read string will return the data sent by the other device. I will create a string variable that will accept the incoming data. After that, I will compare. Uh, I will compare it to on and off, and control the LED by turning it on uh, or off. We are ready now to upload the program. This is the Bluetooth address. I will need it for the Android app later. Now let's open the site of MIT App Inventor. We will create the Android app. I will create a new project. First, I will make a title for my app. After that, I will add a button to connect to the ESP32 and a label uh, that will show if I'm connected or not.
After that, I will add a text box where I will write a keyword to be sent and a button to send uh, to the board. Now you should not forget uh, to add the Bluetooth client component. In the programming part, I will start by the connect button. Be aware, the address uh, parameter should contain the address of the Bluetooth followed by uh, the name, and only one space uh, between the address and uh, the name. Here, the label will show if the device uh, is connected uh, or not uh, to the board. The sound button will send the content of the text box. Now we are ready to test our app. What you see here is my phone. First, I will click on connect. It was connected after uh, the second attempt. Now I will send on. And in the serial monitor, I'm receiving the message uh, on, and uh, the LED is uh, turning uh, on. And uh, this is uh, the final result. In the end, I hope that you like the video and see you soon. Bye.